So today I'm going to be reading to you from my fourth book and it's called The Day You Left. And I decided to write this book because the suicide rate amongst kids and adults is up right now. And I wanted to do anything that I could to at least help one person not try and commit suicide. So this is what came out and I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. Vacation. To all children who have lost parents or family members to illness, incarceration, and abandonment, your pain will soon be your power. Never give up. Face. It took years of therapy, prayer, meditation, forgiveness, and patience to get over my parents leaving me when they went to jail when I was just 14 years old. When it first happened, I didn't have the emotional tools I needed to overcome that obstacle with ease. That obstacle almost took my life. I tried to commit suicide several times and I thank God none of my attempts worked so that I could sit here today and write this book just for you. When my parents left, I felt alone and sad. I cried every birthday, every Christmas, every weekend, every school function, every game that my parents were not with me. During those dark days, I asked God, why me? And now I tell God, thank you for choosing me. The reality is that obstacle helped me become successful early in life because I learned I could overcome anything if I could survive that. During those silent nights at home alone, I also realized that I was never alone because God is always with and inside of me. I wrote this book so that every child and teen out there knows that just because one or both of your parents leave your life, you can still have joy and help others. I also want the reader to realize that God is always with us. And here is that. And this is the beginning of the book. The day you left, I felt my heart shatter. I felt I didn't matter. My heart turned cold. I just wanted to be alone. I felt the gloom, yet I wanted to bloom. With time, I could feel me getting stronger. So to loneliness, abandonment, and fear, there is no room for you here. God, I felt you in my soul. I knew it was you that made me whole. I feel I can breathe. I am finally able to see what was always inside of me. The light inside of me that was turned off now shines so bright others can see the true me. Now that I am whole, I can help others fill their soul. Thank you, God, for repairing my soul. These are the final thoughts. Staying in the light is tremendously hard when we are faced with obstacles, but it is possible. We must remember to protect our energy and keep in mind that life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we respond to it. If someone in your life leaves or dies, we must mourn for a season, and then we've got to pick ourselves back up and keep going. Let nothing stop you from being happy, sending you love and a big hug. Now I'm gonna share with you guys a few of the reviews that I've gotten because I wanted to send the book out to a few friends to get their feedback. And the first review I'm gonna to read to you is from Wiz Khalifa's mom, Miss Peachy Winbush Polk, who is an incredible woman, an incredible speaker, and I value her opinion. And this is what she said about the book. Wow, how timely. Ms. Guzman's latest project is just what is needed in these unprecedented times. As we navigate the first global pandemic in over a century, we can't forget the mental health of our youth. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in people under the age of 18. Not only must we raise awareness to this issue, we need to equip and support young people by giving them the tools that they need. This book does that, bravo. Thanks Ms. Guzman for continuing to be a beacon. That review just really touched my heart. And this is a review from Beyonce's road manager, Alan Floyd. 
Ms. Guzman speaks from the heart. Her love and dedication for helping others stand in the light of God is amazing. And the final review was given to me by the executive producer of Univision's morning show. I've had the opportunity to work with her and I know she's all about the community and I just wanted to get her thoughts and this is what she said. The day you left is written with the message of hope, compassion, and self-love. It teaches children that although there's dark days, good days are ahead, and no matter what happens, life will always work out in your favor. I can tell the author wrote the book from first-hand experience, which shows in the gentleness in which this book was beautifully written. In closing, I would just like to say thank you to every single person who has sent me a review. I have read them and I really, really appreciate you. And before I end this video, I just want to say that if you or anyone you know is feeling suicidal, please get some help. Please talk about it because it's really, really important that you get out of that vibration out of that mode because I know what it feels like and it's tremendous suffering that I wouldn't wish on anyone. So I hope this little video has helped you. If you know someone that needs to see it, please send it to them. All right, guys, now I got to get ready for my next Zoom. Sending you love and light and know that I love you.